Robbie Mackay and his team are preparing for one of the most challenging jobs in their company's 7,000 house move history. A 700 kilometre haul with a fragile timber house. So big. It needs two trucks, three pilot cars and two maintenance vans. The nine vehicle convoy stretches almost half a kilometre. 30 minutes before sunup, signs of the roadworks ahead. When suddenly, the truck's engine is screaming. I just pull out. The timing couldn't be worse. A breakdown could be the hammer blow to this demanding schedule. Um, we just done a fan belt and the fan belt's come off. This truck's all right to drive, but not far, and not carrying this. So um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook this truck, unhook the truck at the back piece. I'm gonna hook the back truck up to this and this truck up to the back piece, because it's only tiny. With sunrise and their curfew now only minutes away, the pressure's on. All right, boys. <laughs> the sun is now up. Yeah, she's pretty fucking daylight, so... The police are within their power to stop this move right now. Let's keep going over the coppers, don't say nothing there. They're good coppers. Hopefully they'll let us keep going, so... As for the damaged truck... They're coming on the wrong side, Jimmy. Robbie sends it off to a local mechanic. You're overtaking us where we can keep going. Yep. On the other side of town, mate, there's a truck shop. Just pull over there. Things can always go worse. From this point on, Robbie and Shane are forced to take the bumpy back roads. For the house, it's like riding out a magnitude 6 earthquake. Yeah, Robbie, that big bit of weatherboard. Let's come down on the left hand side of the back of that house. There it goes. Kai and Sons have built their reputation on delivering homes in good condition. Yeah, what? Next man. But this house is letting the side down. Oh, it's just not nailed off properly. It's only been nailed on with fuck all nails, see? With 200 kilometres still to go, Shane and Robbie will have to fight tooth and nail to get this job done. After 12 hours of intense driving, he now has the responsibility of guiding the load through the hazards ahead. Whatever these wires. And the last few kilometres into Yapoon promise to be the biggest test yet. Go on, mate, bring around, bring around. Easy. Yeah, you're all right, Hogan. This neighbourhood is a tangle of low-hanging power lines. Needs on the wire, mate. With the load at five and a half metres high, it's going to be tight. Ah, uh, slow down for these, mate. It's pretty low. Rolling. Whoa! Whoa! The roof is centimetres from power lines. Hit them, and 240 volts would be sent swinging to the ground. Ah, 
It's just a low fucking uh, line here. So I'll just poke it up so she can get underneath it. Time to break out the hot stick. An insulated fiberglass pole. Right, Shane! Slow. One down, five to go. Whoa! Whoa. Yep, drop that down, pay that one up just so it goes free. Is that free? Crawl up! Two metres! The traffic's backing up. You're all right, keep going! But this is one part of the job the boys can't afford to rush. Oh, there! Yeah. You just pack this up. Grab this one, Bush. Hey, mate. Show you that, mate. How's she got? Show me how much you got. No. Over to me! Let's go straight! You're all right, mate. Keep going straight! waiting on the other half, so uh, there'll be a couple of hours yet. But it's here, that's the main thing, so all's well that ends well. And another customer has their castle. Well, most of it.